Hey there, greetings Plan Beers and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. I've got some good news for you. You can still be a person who thinks about the future, even if you were born in 2000 or before, and it's easier than you think. All it takes is a little bit of refocusing and reframing. In fact, we can do this together as long as we are both willing to learn how to go from hindsight 2020 to foresight 2020. Refocus your efforts. If you're feeling especially down on yourself, maybe it's time to take a closer look at where your time is going. You might be surprised by what you find. You spend more time rehashing the past than thinking about the future. You're more concerned with what others are doing than focusing on your own goals. Even if all this sounds familiar, don't worry. It's totally normal to get stuck in a rut and need some encouragement on how to change your approach. Just remember that you can change. And here's how. Change your perspective. In order to change your perspective on the past, you need to focus on the positive. You can do this by trying one of these strategies. Change your perspective on the past. For example, instead of focusing on what went wrong in a situation, think about what could have gone better or how you could have handled it differently. This will help change your mindset and make you more likely to view events in a different light. Focus on the future. Ask yourself what you're looking forward to doing or where you want to be in one year from now or five years from now and then visualize yourself there. What does it look like? How does it feel? Are there any obstacles standing between where you are right now and where you want to go? If so, how can they be overcome? By visualizing yourself achieving goals through hard work and determination, this exercise will help motivate and inspire confidence along with helping plan out a course of action for getting there. Stay present oriented. Don't dwell too much on past events that happen but aren't going anywhere anymore due to their being in the past. Consider your options. What can you do about it? What are your options? Create a budget and stick to it. The first step to getting ahead of your debt is to create a budget and stick to it. This is not just about money, but your time as well. Find out how and where you spend time and what you get in return. Make a list and reframe your time management to optimize it better. Incentivize your goals with small rewards. As the name suggests, a reward is something you give yourself after accomplishing a goal. Don't confuse rewards with feedback. They're not the same thing. Feedback is where someone gives you information about how well or poorly you did something, whereas a reward is an acknowledgement of your efforts and accomplishments. This can be anything that feels valuable to you. From taking five minutes to sit down and relax with a cup of tea or coffee to splurging on an expensive new pair of shoes or both. Rewards are like incentives. They motivate us towards goals by providing positive reinforcement when we have reached one. They also help us feel confident in our abilities so that we feel more confident pursuing future goals as well. The idea behind rewards is simple. If it's important enough for me to want it badly enough so that I'll work hard for it now, then what will happen when my dream comes true? How can I make sure that I enjoy that moment fully? You don't have to leave 2020 behind entirely. You can still use hindsight 2020 to reflect on what you did wrong and improve your actions in the future. But it's also important to actively look ahead with foresight 2020. By combining both methods, you can learn from both your mistakes and successes. Change your perspective and approach things differently next time around. For example, if you went on a trip with a friend who had never been abroad before, would it be helpful for them if you said you should have done this or you shouldn't have done that? Of course not. You'll probably just annoy them and yourself by focusing on the negative aspects of their experience rather than being supportive and helping them see what they did well instead. A better approach would be encouraging them not only through constructive criticism but also praise. 
telling someone how much fun they're having will make them want to keep having fun. While the future may seem far away, there are ways to begin preparing today by refocusing your efforts, changing your perspective and considering your options. You can turn hindsight 2020 into foresight 2020. Hey Plan Beers, I hope you liked this episode. Go check out the others on planbsuccess.live and of course check out the YouTube channel Plan B Success on YouTube and do share, subscribe, comment. Always looking to receive your feedback and spread the word.